Separately, we are particularly interested in the INCB's effort, efforts to help clarify how data on cannabis and cannabinoids should be reported for the purposes of estimates and statistical returns, as well as to provide guidelines for import and export on cannabinoids. It is our hope that this process will provide greater clarity to member states engaged in the cultivation and trade of cannabinoids for medical and scientific purposes and will strengthen the international control system by identifying and resolving potentially ambiguous situations. Madam Chair, we spend a lot of time in the CND focusing on controlling dangerous substances in the international framework. While we take efforts in this regard, we should also remain focused on our efforts to fulfill our treaty obligations to ensure the availability of controlled substances for medical and scientific pur purposes. No person should suffer unnecessarily from untreated pain or be denied needed medicines. We must work to ensure the availability of narcotic drugs and other controlled substances for medical and scientific purposes while preventing their diversion in international trafficking. We are troubled by reports that international scheduling may introduce barriers to access and availability in some countries. As the drug control conventions mandate that countries make substances available for medical and scientific purposes. As we work to increase the rate at which international control can be placed on dangerous and deadly substances, we must simultaneously increase awareness on how to implement these controls at the national level. This gap in understanding remains a challenge as we work to implement our treaty obligations. To address it, we would ask our esteemed experts in WHO, UNODC and the INCB to help us better understand the sources of these barriers to access and availability so we can identify interventions to properly address them. Thank you very much.